Patricia. All right, Nancy Lou, thank you. And joining us now to talk more about this case is the director of the LA Police Protective Leave, Jamie McBride. Jamie, thanks for your time. Thank you. Help us understand how serious this is. Is this putting officer safety directly at risk? Absolutely. We have officers that are working very sensitive investigations. They work the Mexican um, drug cartels, the Mexican mafia, human trafficking. Um, already, there's some officers who are in undercover capacity, have their pictures side by side now with the ones that were released, and those are being tweeted out. We have officers that have moved out of their homes. Some officers are putting security cameras up. This is very dangerous, and, and not only for the officers, but let's not forget, how about the informants and their families? Because we have informants that introduce these undercover officers into certain operations, now they're exposed. This is uh, the tip of the iceberg. This is probably the worst security breach I've seen in my 32 years with LAPD. I appreciate you giving us that perspective, and we know how deadly even just cartels are. I can't imagine how fearful those officers are for both themselves, their families, and their informants. Um, how has it impacted officers' daily lives, and, and would you say that the correct and the necessary protections are being put in place to make sure that those officers are safe and not not going to be in harm's way. Well, again, this is this is some uh, unique situation we've never seen this before. So, you know, the pictures are out there, and, and um, you know, the, once they're on the internet, it, it is kind of hard to claw them back and, and take them back. Um, but this is this goes uh, even deeper than that. This is, this shows the incompetence of police administrator Liz Rhodes. She's the one that released these photos, and now we have a recruitment problem. We used to have 10,000 officers. We're down to almost 9,000. When I came on the police department, we had 130 people per academy class. Now we're barely scraping by with 30. This is going to have a big, big impact. We have officers that are young on the department that are saying they're going to leave and go to another police department that has their backs. This is going to be a big, big problem for recruitment. And, and, you know, we know there is a lawsuit filed against the city on behalf of these officers. In your eyes, who is at fault here? It's police administrator Liz Rhodes, and she has the rank of like an assistant chief. Um, but this is serious. And not only does this affect the, the three or 400 undercover officers right now, but let's think about this. When you go through a 20 or 30 year career, you go in and out of undercover assignments, depending on what your, what your rank is, if you're a detective or police officer. So just because somebody's not undercover now, it's not saying that 10 years from now, they won't be. So, you know, I think the attorney who filed the lawsuit should include everybody, all 9,000 officers on this lawsuit. Okay. I appreciate your time. Jamie McBride, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.